Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to talk to you about the structure of a computer mouse. There's really uh, two different types of uh, mice that are out on the market right now, and that is an optical mouse and a ball mouse. Uh, I have an optical mouse here, and you can typically tell if a mouse is an optical mouse because it'll have a little red uh, laser light here. And when it says optical, it really means optical. There is a light sensor inside of the mouse that will detect when this laser reflects off of the surface that the mouse is being moved on. Now my finger, you know, looks fairly smooth, but obviously I have fingerprints and there's ridges, there's some kind of texture here. And that mouse uh, laser will bounce off of the texture of my finger back into the mouse where a light sensor detects it and can judge how the, uh, the mouse is moving based upon those textures. Now I have a diagram here of a uh, ball mouse which is sort of the, uh, the older uh, style mouse before uh, optical mice came out. As you can see, uh, this is the mouse casing here. There's the bottom and there's the top and here's all the stuff that goes inside. You have a ball that sits inside of the mouse that sort of protrudes slightly. And as you set the mouse down, that ball goes back in, but it rubs against the surface that you're moving the mouse on. Now, Inside the innards, there are uh, two uh, little uh, wheels, basically, that rub against the side of this ball. So as this ball turns, it will also turn these wheels uh, because it's obviously right next to each other, kind of like a gear would turn almost. And those will, in turn, turn the gear work inside of the mouse, and that will translate um, the way this ball is moving into digital signals that can be transferred over to the computer. And that's how the ball mouse knows that it's being moved around uh, on the surface. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just told you a little bit about the structure of a computer mouse.